You want to get your first job in the cloud industry, but have you ever stopped to ask yourself, is the cloud industry right for you? I am a senior solutions architect with over six years of experience in the cloud industry. I have also helped dozens of people all across the world get their first job in the cloud industry. And while doing this, I've seen a lot of people waste a lot of time and money trying to break into the cloud industry only to get in and realize that they were miserable because the cloud industry just wasn't right for them. <laughs> and I don't want that for you. What if I told you there were three simple questions you could ask yourself to know if the cloud industry was right for you? By answering these questions, you will not only feel more confident about your career change, but you'll also know exactly what you need to do to break into the cloud industry. The cloud industry uses the most innovative and cutting edge technologies that constantly change and evolve over time. And as an aspiring cloud professional, you need to understand this for one key reason. And that is to be successful in the cloud industry, you need to be excited about learning new things. Your ability to learn, unlearn and relearn is essential to keep up with changes in the industry. For example, you could work at a cloud consultancy and get put on one project where you're using Terraform as your infrastructure as code tool. And then you could get transferred to another project where you use CloudFormation as your infrastructure as code tool. And you need to know how to work with these two technologies. With that in mind, this leads to the first question you need to ask yourself. Do you enjoy learning new things? This is important because as a cloud professional, your success depends on your ability to learn new things. You need to learn Linux, Bash, Terraform, Git, CICD, Python, and so much more. If you find yourself maybe shying away from learning, asking questions like, do I need to learn programming to be successful in the cloud industry? then maybe the cloud industry might not be right for you because you need to be excited about taking on these challenges. However, if you find yourself enjoying the learning process, doing research and spending hours troubleshooting issues, and just generally enjoying the process of learning as frustrating as it might be, then congratulations, the cloud industry is right for you. Are you interested in getting your first cloud job? If you answered yes, then I have a free guide just for you. This free guide walks you through a proven step-by-step -step process to help you get that first cloud job. It walks you through the three simple steps you can take today to make yourself highly employable. The link is in the description below, so make sure you download it now if you're interested. All right, let's get back to the show. A couple of days ago, a cloud beginner contacted me about joining my cloud career accelerator program. She asked if she could go from having zero experience to landing a cloud job in three months and she needed to get a job in three months or else she'd run out of money. Now this set my alarm bells ringing because I could see that she had unrealistic expectations about the cloud journey and I didn't wanna see her in financial difficulties so I told her the truth, that three months just isn't a realistic timeline. The truth is that it takes between six months to a year on average to go from being a complete beginner with zero experience to getting your first job in the cloud industry. And obviously this is an average, some people do it in three months, some do it, people do it in two years, but let's take that as an average. Now, the one problem with thinking it's only gonna take three months is that you're more likely to burn out, give up and fail because that timeline just isn't realistic. So the second question you need to ask yourself is this, do you have a realistic timeline for your cloud goals? Now, here's a quick breakdown of what your timeline should look like. Your first three months should be all about learning the cloud fundamentals and developing some high quality cloud projects. The next three months should be all about fixing up your resume and sending it out to recruiters. Then three months after that, you should now begin to start getting some responses from recruiters. Maybe you should start booking some interviews and securing job offers. So you can see it's already been like nine months for the job offers to potentially begin rolling in. Again, this is just a rough estimation as it happens quicker or slower depending on your circumstances and how much effort and time you can put into your development. So if you need a cloud job in the next three months and you have zero experience, you haven't done a lot of work, a lot of learning, then three months might not be a realistic timeline. But if you're willing to have patience, set more realistic expectation and put in the work necessary to achieve your goal, then congratulations again. The cloud industry might be right for you. If you're enjoying this so far, make sure you give this a like on YouTube. 
because it helps the channel grow and subscribe if you're new here. There's a common misconception that all you need to be successful in the card industry is to be really technical. That if you do all the labs and get all the certifications, employers will come knocking at your door with job offers. But what if I told you there was a skill that's just as important as your technical ones that no one talks about? This is a skill that if you do master, will open up all sorts of doors, even if you're not the most technical candidate in the interview process. That's right. The skill I'm talking about is your communication skills. I'm talking about your ability to effectively communicate your skills and experience in a confident and engaging way. The first time these skills come into practice is when you write your resume, as your ability to communicate what projects you've done, what experience you bring into the table, is what makes the difference between if a recruiter decides to give you a call or not to offer you an interview. If you're lucky enough to secure that interview, then your ability to talk about your project in an engaging way in the interview and build rapport with the interviewer and the hiring manager is what makes them decide if you're a good fit for the team or not and if they should bring you on board. This means that the third question you need to ask yourself is, do you have good communication skills and are you willing to work to improve them? This is probably what makes the biggest difference in deciding if you get that cloud job or not and also, it's probably one of the skills that I see people work on the least, as it's the most overlooked skill when it comes to breaking into the cloud industry. Now that you've successfully answered all three questions and you've decided that, yes, the cloud industry is for you, you might be asking yourself, what are the next steps? Well, I have created a simple five-step process that will walk you through exactly what you need to know to get your first cloud job. It gives you step-by-step -step everything you need to know just watch it now. I promise you won't regret it. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.